welcome to a windy day here at Poppy Corners. Gosh, it's windy, it's rainy, we're having the storm of the century tonight, something like a foot of rain in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Pretty cool. Um, so right now there's a break in the rain and so we are making our, putting our greenhouse together. So um, it's cooking day too, we've been making hummus and crispy chickpeas and um, pita bread and Tom's gonna make um, fresh pork sausage so lots of cooking today but while it's not raining we thought we would come out here and get the greenhouse together so that's what we're working on today come check it out so recently Elizabeth wrote about re repurposing a frame that we had into a greenhouse of sorts and so I want to talk a little bit about what we've done so far um, this was the original part of the frame and these are the shelves we put in for the, for the greenhouse. We actually had to take apart the frame uh, a bunch to make these even. We had to take these off and take them over to the table saw and get them all the same width so that they'd support these, these, uh, these cross pieces here. Uh, and then we just recycled some old redwood shelving, uh, or, I'm sorry, redwood fencing to make the shelves. The other thing you see here are these metal brackets. We've built a door uh, to slide in in the front here so we have easy access to it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm concerned about making sure that we can seal this up and get all the heat staying in there uh, and not have things flopping around in the breeze. Uh, so the door you can see if you, if you peek over towards the house here. So there's the, there, there's the door of, of sorts. I've got a couple of handles that we'll, we're going to put on to make it easier to take it, take it, um, and, and put it in, and take it out, uh, and then these brackets here are just to kind of hold the door in place while we're going. So what's next? Well, we've got some plastic sheeting that we've got to put on the outside of this. I think we'll just use a staple gun and staple it on, uh, and we've got to get the plastic sheeting on the on the door. We've also got to level out the spot where the greenhouse is going to be. A little lumpy right now and we want it to be level-ish uh, and then like I said the handles and we should be good to go I'm anxious to see to do some uh, to do some science here and to maybe stick a thermometer inside this and see what the temperature difference will be uh, inside to outside uh, from what we understand the the big part of the greenhouse is that it retains heat it's not so much the, the, the sun and the light, but retaining the heat. One last thing I'll mention real quick. Uh, we did some thinking about the shelves here, uh, and they're mostly evenly spaced, not exactly evenly spaced. Uh, one of the things we tried to take into account even uh, here is making sure that seeing how, where the sun's going to, you know, this is going to face south, so we've got the sun up here. Uh, get some good southern exposure. We want to make sure the shelves don't shade each other. Uh, so we've spaced them out. I was thinking initially of maybe five shelves, but I think four shelves is going to work better, making sure we're not shading the back, things that are in the back, uh, with the shelf that's above it. Let's go. Okay. When we were planning the greenhouse, we used SketchUp, a free 3D modeling program from Google. Here's a quick view of what it looks like. Using SketchUp is handy because it allows you to get a real sense of what a project like this will look like before you start cutting up boards in the shop. Now, this isn't the final version of the greenhouse that we wound up with. It's got a door design that's more complicated and actually doesn't work with the space that we've got. Let me move that door out of the way and replace it with the door that's closer to what we actually built. You can model all kinds of wood joinery, get measurements, and make templates with SketchUp. 
We'll link to it in the notes below. Okay, so this is where, this is our living room and we're gonna start doing seed starting in here. And this is where everything, I'm gonna increase my efficiency, if you just read my last blog post about um, increasing efficiency and starting almost all my seeds indoors except for like lettuce and peas. So we've got a lot of lights to set up and I don't know, we got a lot of stuff to, to do. This is an old table that, that dad made out of cherry beautiful. I'm going to not use this cloth. I'm, I've ordered something better to keep it protected. And so we'll start all our seeds here. And then when the seedlings, wait, let's grab a tray. And then when the, say this is full of broccoli. So we've got our broccoli seedlings and we'll take them outside and then they'll, it's like a halfway house. They'll go in the greenhouse after they've sprouted so they'll go in the greenhouse to sort of harden off and they'll go out here out to the greenhouse we need to redo the um, door there's a little problem with the door but um, then I'll just open up the door of the greenhouse which I can't right now because and I'll put the tray in here actually let me see if I can do this let's put the so this is in these latches Tom's gonna put handles on this door and then the frame will come out. <clears throat> Sorry, that's not very good camera work, is it? The frame will come out. Let's just lay it here for now. And then I'll put the trays of seedlings in here and they're perfect, they fit perfectly. So when they need to be hardened off, I can fit like three trays on each shelf. And then they'll live out here until they're hardened off and big enough to plant. Isn't that a good idea? Okay, let's close this up again. I think it looks really good. Uh, Tom's gonna tell you all about this plastic and this plastic is special. Um, so let's go to him and he'll tell you about that. One quick note about the plastic sheeting that we got for the greenhouse. This is not the same plastic sheeting that you'd find at Home Depot in the paint department uh, that people sometimes use as a drop cloth. Uh, this is, that's polyethylene sheeting it's the same thickness, but it's a different material. We're using polycarbonate sheeting, uh, and that should give us a longer lifespan, and it's, a, it's pretty significant stuff. Well, here comes the rain. It's supposed to rain the rest of the week, like seven to 10 days straight. So um, that's, I guess, the end of our <laughs> video for today. But I uh, wanted to tell you that next week I should have my seed set up totally finished, and. Um, I'm hoping to spend some time talking you through how I did it and why I did it this way. And I'm going to start on cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower seedlings. I realized that I've been doing it all wrong. Uh, I've been doing a lot of direct seeding at the wrong times. And my uh, harvest is suffering. So I need to start trying a new way of doing things. And that's hence the greenhouse and hence seed starting inside. And so I'm, I'm, I've only started tomatoes and peppers inside before. I've never started anything else. And so this is all very new to me uh, and I wanna do it right. So I thought I'd take you along with me as I do that. So look for that next weekend. Meanwhile, I hope you have a great week. I hope you have lots of precipitation wherever you are. It's very exciting here with all this rain. We haven't had this much rain in a long, long time. We really needed it here in California. So have a great week and I'll see you next week, okay? All right, bye.